I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body and Twin Flame Reconnection, and I'm located in Chicago, Illinois. So today I want to talk to you about, you know, one of the things that we always talk about, which is the divine masculine. I'm here to let you know that unless there's nurturance, the divine masculine can't be divine. Okay. That's not to say that they're just masculine, but there is a whole other level of this. And I'm going to display some things that I don't think have occurred to people. Because sometimes people get very, very flattened out in the head by a lot of the psychobabble that takes place. And it's not that those things are invalid, but it's time to move beyond it. And I mean really move beyond it. So I have like a little scenario for you. And oh gosh, look who is back. We have our primetime players here who are ready to help you and help you understand things, okay? Now, she has been, quote, doing the work or what she considers doing the work or the things that she has felt is the work. And some of that involves too much mental overload, too much mental uh, input, too much information, not enough love. And when I say not enough love, it doesn't mean that she's not loving. It means that she may be going about it in some old ways. Things like saying, well, I've been holding space for five years. So right now, she wants to just kind of give up. I know I've had it. You know, I deserve a life too. When is this ever going to get normal? I want normalcy. I want a life. Yes. But what you may not realize is that there is a new level to be achieved for that life. Well, I've been doing work. Well, you may have been doing 3D work. Uh, you may have been doing psychological research. You may have been using tools, which really won't be sufficient by comparison to expanding your natural abilities, which is through your body. Well, I don't really understand that. Could you explain more? Yes, actually. You have connections that are above you, and those go up. Those are areas where you are merged. But in order to access it, it includes getting yourself open at this level. It also includes purging. But I've already been at this, yes, but it was not accessible until 2019 for the first batches of people, and now it will be for many more batches of people and going forward. So there is a time window here. The next thing to know about is I'm giving up. I've about had it. I'm up to here. And you know what? I just, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm tired of it. I just like, I'm out of inspirations. I'm getting really, really confused. Well, this can be overwhelming and there's a reason for it. And there's a reason with masculine energy why it can be like, like that, okay? So you're not just seeing head to head. You have to connect heart to heart because there are areas on you that have to synchronize. So we're going to do a little bit of dialogue to help you more deeply understand some of this. Where have you been? I've been expecting and waiting and holding and yeah, I went on a few dates, but you know, and I, I'm trying to hang on to my ex because I just don't know when is the point to let go. Hold, oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Do you know what I've been through? Well, I've been through things too. Yeah, I understand that. But I've been through things that have been really, really damaging. Well, I've been through damaging stuff. You don't understand what it's like to be a girl child on earth. Well, I understand what it's like to be a man child, a man, a boy. I've grown up in it too. And do you know what I've been through? No, I don't. Now time for some gratitude. I've created a country where you can be free, where you can have a business, where you can vote 
Well, I fought for those things too. The divine feminine fights for those things. Yes, but things have had to shift. In ancient times, women were the hunters and the patri matriarchs. And women were different. But it swung different ways. There's been a huge load on my shoulders. You see me now with my armor on. You think that I'm dense. You think that it doesn't get through to me. Do you know what it takes to do the things that I've done? It's not easy being hardcore all the time. I ain't going to have to be hardcore like this all the time. Well, I know a lot has happened to me too. That's my blood under there. I need your help to pick me up, to pick me up from where I've been. You see me standing like this. Now, we just passed through Veterans Day, sometimes called Remembrance Day. And this is how we're remembering. And if you are someone who is from, you know, any country that has had to declare its independence, you will know that there has been a huge driving force. You know, I'm getting really sick of having to live like this in isolation and feeling just like I'm so restricted and I want to, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired. It's making me tired. Yes, I understand. And I'm tired too in my own way. I get tired too, but it's different. Maybe you wouldn't understand. Oh, I understand. I feel it. I feel some of it. But we're not moving it. We can't move it unless we move it together. That's how the alchemy works. People have spit on me for the things that I felt I needed to do. That's true. And sometimes it's been a little too heavy. But the hard intentions were good. The intentions to protect or defend or create or develop, they've been there. Well, I sometimes think about going off the grid. You don't do that without the technology to do it. You dream of things and your wish is my command. You've wanted the freedom. I have helped you with this. I understand sometimes we traded places. I don't really remember it, but I sense it's in there. I've done my duty too. Now see me as I am without my armor. I've done my duty. I've defended. I've lost limbs. I've created families with people I didn't even care about. And I kept the honor. I did my duty. I made babies. I made tech. I can't help it if it's leaned me to one side of my head. I can't help it. I need your help. I want to come home. Hold a space and reach for me. Do you know how much I've longed for the sweetness and the softness? How I've missed you? How I've had to find this in other people? No, because sometimes I look you up and I just see that you're just up to your old tricks. Do you think that it's easy to change habits of centuries? To just upturn this? Old paradigm, one, two, three. Well, my life has been turned upside down. Take it easy. Don't you tell me to take it easy. Listen, baby, don't you call me baby either. I love you. Well, I love you too. You are my guiding beacon. You're the one that I keep feeling somehow I'm missing something. Or I'm doing it wrong. Or sometimes I get those feelings that I'm in trouble. Am I in trouble? Well, I have no intention of punishing you, but sometimes I feel like I'm being punished. Well, sometimes I feel like I'm being punished too. But I've made a foundation. If there's one thing to understand, I've made a foundation for us to set down all of the stuff to truly let it go. But we need each other. Now, you may have people where the masculine is embodied in another person of the same gender. And this happens. And how do you distinguish the karmics and all the karmic stuff 
from what goes on. Because you could have somebody that looks like this and they are honking because the masculine energy is so ramped up. You know, you used to be so sweet and I don't know what's going on. Listen, if I don't take charge, it's just never going to happen. It's why do I have to kick ass just to get things to, you know, go correctly? Honestly, it's like I'm wearing all 20 hats. I have to be everything. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know, people aren't idiots. Why don't you just, you know, relax? There's no relaxing. Don't you understand? There's goals, there's things that did, and on and on and on. Listen, listen, listen. Take it easy. Take it easy. Well, you wouldn't understand you're from a different culture. Like, you don't really know. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I know. And it is, it's a lot. Just imagine coming out from under things. I've already done some of that. You're just starting to. But I love you. I don't want to see you suffering like this. Well, it's got to be my way or the highway. Either everyone starts getting with this and or else, or else, or else what? You're like dragging a lot of things. How are you going to let go? I mean, didn't you ever wonder about, you know, where that anxiety comes from? There is an epidemic of anxiety. There is an epidemic of depression. There is an epidemic of suicidal thoughts in the feminine. And we're here to shift it because without proper internal nurturance, it ain't happening. Okay? And you have a lot of other people who are involved. Okay? And you can have people that, I just need a little more time. If only I were inspired. You know, I just, I don't know. I keep, you're like an eternal student. You just keep grasping at things, but you never get anything to launch. How am I going to introduce you to my parents? What What's going on anyway? I don't know. I have these really big dreams, but... Somehow no one ever cooperates and I can't seem to get the doors open. Now, what may not be realized is those doors have to have some of them close to the old level and some of them open up the new doors, open up the new doors, open up new doors to new love for 2021. So please join my class on the Divine Masculine and Sacred Love, where you will learn about the ascension symptoms, overcoming obstacles, unlocking things um, that feel like they're locked up, heart walls, and heart communication, because we are going to uncover some of the things that make people feel guarded, blocked, dysfunctional, and we want to bring the fun and loving couple back. And if there is a certainty that you are here to do this, in other words, if you are the one saying, you know what, as simply as this, I'm here to be with someone. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for love. I'm here to be with someone. Let's get next level. It's time. It's truly time for those things to get out of the mind, the psychology, the, you know, I see a lot of um, group gatherings where it's a lot of feminine, it's a lot of females, and those females really want their partner, whoever it is. At some point, it gets a little tiring to just hang around all the other chicks. It gets really tiring to hang around the tribal hut where everyone is having their menstrual cycle together. I mean, let's be straight up about it. That might sound gross, but that's the reality you are leaving. You are leaving. We are leaving the fourth dimension. And the divine masculine has done a lot, just like the divine feminine. This is going to help you recapture your truly divine feminine aspects because that is 
the strength, the paradox is it's strong and soft at the same time. It's passionate and yet not weak. Do not let your kindness be taken for weakness. Learn how to do some things. If you have questions about relationships, handling a situation, karmic partners, what if they have a karmic partner, okay? What if this seems like somehow there's a three-way energy and someone keeps sucking out the energy of what belongs? How do you break free of that? I got ways that are so simple. You will learn how to use essential oils to do it. And when you join, you get my book number two, which is specifically on twin flame ascension. You can't deny being a twin flame because the bottom line is, is the love is what heals and seals. So come and join. Look for the link below and we will be meeting. This is intended to get like some really good stuff going and high level activation experiences, etheric body experiences. That is the thing that some of you are lacking and you've been trying to hang on in just blind faith. Blindness is faith until you see it. Let's get you seeing up where you belong. Then it's not blind anymore. There was something I realized on my journey. I was like, wow, when I can see into the upper levels and I can see things and gain a different perspective, it made such a difference. It wasn't blind anymore. It wasn't just leaning on hope and, you know, platitudes. It was real. It was so vividly real and passionate. Have you been dreaming? Bring it. Let's grow on that. Okay. So there is truly someone for everyone. And I'm a proponent of that because that is the only way I started up feeling this. It did not start for me. It It's just been the feeling until it grew and was experiential. So thanks so much for watching and please join. Bye.